Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday, inside of FIFA 22. We have some big things to talk about on the market today because there's been a lot of panic selling, a lot of leaking, and a lot of Future Stars upcoming content that we have to look at, specifically one big time SBC that is crazy. This is crazy that EA is gonna be dropping this SBC. Yes, you read the title correctly, R9 Ronaldo is leaked to be getting an Icon Player SBC during Foot Future Stars. And that's absolutely crazy. So we're going to talk about that, talk about how it's already affecting the market, right? Again, some of you guys ask, why do I talk about leaks? You can't talk about the market right now without talking about why these cards are down. Why Team of the Years yesterday dropped hundreds of thousands of coins in value. Why SBC Fodder is flying up in price at a moment's notice. It's these leaks. It's these leaks that we've seen time and time again this year be so, so accurate. Take a look at Team of the Year Ronaldo, 6.1. He was under 6.1 million coins multiple times today. He was 6 mil flat. Uh, he was 6.5, 6.6 mil a couple days ago, right? Team of the Year Conte, who I was looking at yesterday, was 3.1 mil. I think he's rebounded back up as some cards did. He No, he's still down 3.2 million coins. So there's been some fluctuations, but ultimately a lot of panic selling has happened because of these leaks that are going on right now. So we're going to talk about all that today. And of course, what content we could see today on Sunday, because there's a couple interesting pieces about these future stars from last year in FIFA 21 that is also rumored to be happening today on this game as well. So we'll kind of talk about that and look into those items as well. So if you're excited for an icon, mid R9 icon SBC, or just the overall content inside of Foot Future Stars, because it looks like a, a big dub. The cards and packs are okay, but this content looks to be big dubs. Make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. But let's talk about all, let's talk about this SBC. This SBC is what is, again, causing so much panic right now on this game r9 ronaldo this is tweeted out yesterday on saturday and and this sums it up perfectly this sums up what i'm thinking about this what in the world has happened to ea sports what in the world has happened to ea that they are going to drop like not just an end game icon sbc this is like this is a top three card in the game from like of course mid icons are in the game from the start of the game you know and there's a prime r9 there's team of the years that are out but like from the start of the game this is a top three card if not the best card in fifa in the game 94 r9 the mid icon who was once 11 to 12 million coins at the start of the year he's now of course 5.5 million coins in value we're getting an sbc for this card in february G, geez, EA Sports. I mean, that is, that's just crazy. It's incredible. So, I mean, everybody wants to know, what is this SPC going to cost? You know, what are the requirements going to be? How long is it going to be available? Those are all unknown right now at this moment. But what we know, and we can talk theoretically about this as well, we just know this guy's getting an SBC. So, of course, when leaks like this happen, well, since it's such a crazy SBC, a lot of people went out and did a lot of selling yesterday, but they also did a lot of buying, right? R9 Ronaldo himself went from 6.1 million coins down to about 5.3, and he's kind of just chilling in like the 5.3, 5.4 million coin range. And on the Xbox machine, he went from 4.4 mil down to about 4 mil flat. He's still at 4.1. So you saw this card, of course, get sold off a lot as people are expecting an SBC version that they're going to be able to put in their club very soon. Um, and then, like we mentioned, the rest of the market just went down a ton. I mean, take a look at some of the future stars. If you take a look when this tweet was put out, which was 5.56 a.m. my time, which is early morning on Saturday, that's when this panic started. Take a look at this early morning Saturday. Boom. Bang. Look at that price drop off right there. Jude Bellingham from 1.8 million coins down to 1.47. I actually bought one of these at uh, 1.45 and I sold it a little bit ago for just over 1.6 mil. So that was a pretty good flip as there was a lot of panic selling and stuff did rebound because, you know, the SBC for R9 did not come yesterday. This was tweeted yesterday. The SBC didn't come, right? And I we don't know when this SBC is expected, right? Sometime during Future Stars is what it says. It's not like, you know, back in the old days, they used to drop Icon SBCs only on Thursdays, but they don't do that anymore, right? They drop them on Sundays, they drop them on Mondays, Tuesdays, anytime is game, uh, or potentially we could have an Icon SBC dropped on this game. So the only thing that I would like to mention here is that Fernando Torres and Clarence Seedorf expire in four days, and we haven't had many times this year where there's been 
a ton of Icon SBCs out uh, in this game. So I would not be surprised if we did see the Fernando Torres and Clarence Seedorf leaving the game and expiring before we actually see this R9 Icon SBC. Now, that's, that's just me thinking theoretically about uh, you know when the time that, I, that Icon SBC could come. Now, here's the other part of the, the equation here is this SBC is one of like five different Icon SBCs that's going to be dropping pretty soon um, inside of this Future Stars promo. So that's another interesting thing to kind of think about. Um, and yes, this is going to be the card that everybody looks at, but there's a few more that we have to talk about as well. And that would be cards like Prime Butragueno, Baby Zidane, Mid Ronaldo, Prime Drogba, and Prime Haji. All of them are coming soon. No idea why Butra was postponed. Butra was leaked like a couple days ago, maybe even a week ago. But all of these Icon SBCs are coming soon. Now, I don't know if they're going to drop them all at once or if they're going to kind of space them out. But these are all Icon SBCs that are coming soon. Of course, that Mid Ronaldo being the biggest name of that bunch. And it, it's just crazy to think about EA dropping this type of SBC at this stage of the game. Again, it's it's hard to wrap my mind around it. I know the content's been insane this year, um, and I know that they've dropped a lot of really good SBCs and a lot of very well-priced SBCs, but this is just crazy. Now, how much would an SBC like this cost? I mean, you're taking a look at probably one of our most expensive SBCs ever on this game because when they've been pricing these Icon SBCs, what they've been doing is they've kind of been pricing them um, you know, like let's say R9 was 6.1 million coins before his SBC was leaked, right? And this happened with the Kaka SBC. Kaka was like 1.3, 1.4 mil. They leaked that his SBC was going to be coming. And then Kaka's price dropped down to like 1.1 or 1.2. And his SBC was like 100 to 200,000 coins cheaper than what his card price was before the SBC was leaked. So this card is down five, 600,000 coins. I would still think that an R9 SBC, EA is not going to make it cheap. They're not going to make it cheap. I think the SBC is going to be somewhere around 5 mil. I think that's very possible. But 5 million coins for an SBC is going to require a lot of stuff. There's going to be like 30 different segments. It's going to be like all the crazy icons that we saw earlier on uh, in, or later on in FIFA 21 last year when they had the crazy icon moments SBCs over the summer and they still required like 20 some segments for those SBCs. Um, I think I remember doing like 24 segments or 20 segments for Prime Moments Cantona last year during Team of the Season. I, it's going to be something like that or more. There's going to be multiple informs required. I mean, this is going to be a crazy, crazy SBC just because this card is so much in value. But of course, since it's an SBC, that has so many people panic selling cards and going out and buying SBC fodder. Um, just because of the shocking nature of this news is just crazy. And everybody's like, okay, I can't go buy this card on the market for five and a half million coins. But what I can do is store up my fodder, work on this SBC and do it over time to get it done. And then I can still have that item in my ultimate team, right? That's the whole point of having an icon player SBC is that you can work on it over time. So EA would have to make that mid R9 SBC available for a long time. I'm talking like 60 days EA Sports. It's gotta be 60 days plus to be completely honest for people in this game to get that done because that is going to be so expensive. So that's my preliminary guessing, 5 million coins and about 60 days to complete it. But as we talked about with the SBC fodder, as you see me surging here on Mr. Harry Kane, the cheapest 90 rated card on the market right now, Take a look at what happened when this was leaked yesterday too, right? He was 40, 41,000 coins, like immediately jumped up to 48K and it's kind of been chilling between 47 and 48,000 coins since then. If you look across the market again, people went out and bought the higher rated fodder because they know this SBC is going to be expensive, right? Now, was this really a smart decision? With UCL is panic buying right here, right? 53K to 61, drop back down now to 57. It was really not smart to go out and rash invest in this. I know this is a crazy emotional leak, right? With like, oh my goodness, R9 is getting an SBC. But I mean, it, whenever leaks like this happen, it's not like the SBC is coming that same day, right? And that's why you're not seeing these cards still keep going higher. Because right now, everybody who invested is now sitting and waiting for this SBC to happen. And even a lot of the people that sold off cards yesterday, especially on Team of the Years, a lot of the high tier market yesterday took a dip because of all of these leaks, right? Again, the Marquinhos card that I was showing you guys, I bought Marquinhos right here for 1.375. And I sold it um, about right, you know, just about an hour ago at 1.47 mil. 
And that's just because people started selling cards, right? Again, you look at this dip yesterday, it was just selling, right? Panic selling because of this insane SBC leak and all of this stuff going on with these icon SBCs, you know, being leaked and being talked about and everybody's starting to prepare for them for whenever they're gonna drop. So that's the biggest thing that is impacting the market right now, especially on the high tier, especially on the team of the years, these brand new expensive future stars cards that we still, I know, I haven't seen this today, we still don't have a search filter for these guys on the market, which is, you know, frustrating for me as well that we still don't have that. Um, I, I did buy a Chomeni today at 1.12. He's back up to 1.2 mil and he's so rare. He is legit. The, these cards, Chomeni and Jude Bellingham are extremely, extremely rare. Um, it's just very interesting to see their prices move so much throughout the day uh, on this game. So if this Chomeni can go back up to like 1.25, I would be so happy because then I'd be able to make myself, you know, a cheeky, like 70 to 100,000, about 70,000 K, 70,000 coins if that card would continue to rise up. So there was a lot of fluctuations on the market yesterday, but that's what caused a lot of the panic was all of those icon leaks. Again, we don't know when it's going to be. We don't know how much it's going to cost. I would expect to see a few more leaks to slowly kind of trickle out as we get more content and as we get closer to that time frame. but that is causing madness on the market again. And that's why you saw a lot of prices drop yesterday in terms of the team of the years. If you guys have some of your team, you're like, yo, dude, why did my team of the year Messi go from 3.6, 3.7 million coins down to like 3.3 where he is now? Well, that's what's going on. All those leaks that are going around about that big time SBC, that's why it's going down. Now, one thing that's also very interesting to talk about with this is, this is just a little bit theoretical. Um, depending on how long it takes them to release this, this R9 SBC or the Zidane, um, we are getting very, very close to prime icon moments, right? I mean, seriously, we are like two weeks or less away from getting icon moments cards in this game, unless EA has changed the schedule, which I don't believe they have. February and middle February is always the time where we get icon moments and icons have just been so lackluster this year. I'm really excited to see how they boost up some of these moments cards and how some icon hype is revitalized with these icon moments being released, but it's almost like EA is trying to get you to do a big time SBC, maybe the week before they put out prime icon moments and get you like stuck with it with a moments R9 or sorry, not a moments R9, but a mid R9 before all the moments versions are going to come out. So that's kind of very interesting. And, and I wonder if them dropping all of those SBCs, like we saw Butragueno, Zidane, Ronaldo, Drogba, Haji, if dropping all of those in a short time span is getting you to think about icons so that when they drop the prime icon moments, you're already in that icon mode, you know? So that's just kind of my, you know, maybe it's my tinfoil hat theory thinking a little bit there, but that's kind of what's going on with a lot of the panic selling and fodder rising on this market right now. So yesterday's content, we got to speak about this just a little bit as well. I know I talked about R9 for a very long time, but I think it deserves every single minute of that because again, that's just a crazy, a crazy SBC that EA is dropping for the time frame on FIFA. But um, we did have the Brahim Diaz player pick. Um, I believe we talked about this as a leaked SBC, at least we did on stream on Friday um, yesterday. Now this SBC is coming in, I believe it like, somewhere around 300,000 coins. It's a bit expensive, it really is. Nice card, uh, no skill move weak foot upgrades. He does have a five star weak foot and a four star skills on a card. It's a very interesting item. Whichever one you wanna go for, if this guy fits your team, is pretty cool. And that's just one thing I wanted to talk about in today's video as well, is like the actual team of the future stars cards, it still feels to me it's like a six out of 10 on the hype gauge, right? Yes, you've got Vlahovic, yes, you've got Smith Rowe, Chalmany, Bellingham, and then maybe Konate is kind of hype too, right? You've got, you know, you have like three, four, five, six cards in here that are pretty hype for some people. But then the rest of the team is basically fodder, right? Gakpo, Botman, Pedro Porto, Goncalo Ramos. No offense to any of you guys that actually like these cards. They are usable and they're super duper cheap. It's just for the... Um, most of the people on FIFA, these cards are not that insane. So it's just kind of interesting to see how the actual cards and packs are not that hype right now, but all this content that we have leaked is insane. A couple more pieces of content that were leaked yesterday is um, Haji's son, Haji, uh, is also leaked to have a future stars SBC to be coming soon. Now, I would be very curious to know if EA is going to drop Prime Haji's um, Prime Haji's SBC before they would drop this future star Haji, because how are you going to link this guy unless you're going to link him to Prime Haji, you know? 
And I think that might be a way where they'll try to get some people to do both SBCs to have both those cards, which would be really cool to have a father son SBC duo kind of out in the game. That'd be really, really dope. Um, but I don't know how you're going to link this guy without the prime icon Haji. So that's just kind of interesting to think about right there. But that's another leaked SBC that could be coming soon. Now, one that could be coming very soon, maybe even as soon as today, is Calvert Lewin. Now, we didn't get Tomiyasu, right? I've been telling you guys about this Tomiyasu player pick that has been leaked. We just have not actually seen it yet. But this, according to the leak timeline, this would be one of the next SBCs to get. And we have some in-game stats being leaked uh, as well. 87 agility, 84 balance, 91 strength, 91 finishing, 90 shot power, 88 composure. So a pretty big boost on this Calvert-Lewin card. Um, and, you know, since we're getting in-game stats, that really makes me think that this card is going to be coming either today or very, very soon. And that'll be, an, uh, you know, a striker from the Premier League, English Lynx pretty big name striker that'll be a card that a lot of people would be interested in and it could be a pretty nice card and if ea make that really cheap that could move the market as well so just kind of keep an eye out for that for maybe today's content on sunday and then you know if it's not today going forward in the next couple of days keep an eye out for that now speaking of sunday once again future stars dual potential this um was leaked earlier on with a couple different cards um remember last year in fiva 21 how we had the giovanni reina and we also had the Reese James and the Diego Dalo. I'm going to look up the Reina so that you guys can see this um, and remember it really quickly. Yeah, last year, FIBA 21, we had the center attack in mid Reina and the right mid. Same overall rating, just different in-game stats on and face card stats, and then also different position. I don't know if they changed. They did change the weak foot. So the 91 Cam Reina had a four-star weak foot, and the 91 right mid Reina had a three-star weak foot. We are evidently getting more of these dual potential cards do different playing styles they could develop into their during the careers now this was leaked as well from foot sheriff and i couldn't find the tweet when i was looking it up just a bit ago um but i don't know who the cards are going to be from uh from this year's future stars squad i don't know if they're adding two new players in or three new players in that are going to get different versions or if this is just for SBCs like Brahim Diaz, like the Tomiyasu we were leaked to get, or like Shaloba, the objective. I don't know if this is going to pertain to cards and packs, but it was leaked earlier on before the promo started that there were going to be multiple versions of cards and packs. So I think that could be happening today as it's more of like mini release Sunday. Although I don't know if we're getting a mini release with this team. We'll just have to see if that happens. That could be a part of content today. Now I'm kind of taking a look at some of these cards and, and, and watching their fluctuations because I have made a decent amount of coins in the past couple of days with these future stars. Now I bought a couple of Chalmenis yesterday at 1.2 mil. Um, I bought him about right here. 1.2 yeah he was about 1.2 lows friday night into saturday and i sold one of them at 1.4 hindsight being 2020 of course i should have sold all of them right there but again i, I thought he was going to maybe stay that high and maybe go a little bit higher into the morning then of course the leaks happened and he dropped down to 1.1 lows which I, I bought another one here at 1.1 now i've sold a couple of them as he rebounded back into the middle one two range around 1.2 mil um, but I'm hoping that he goes back up a little bit more. Again, like I said, the Vlahovic, I bought a Vlahovic last night at 650. And you're like, Nate, he's down 100K. I bought Vlahovic like right here at 650 on a snipe. And I sold him at 820. He peaked at a really weird time. And I sold him right at 820. Now he's back down. He was 620 just a, a couple hours ago. And now he's down to 550. So one thing that I'll be watching today, usually on Saturday or Saturdays into Sundays, these sort of flips don't do as well. Um, especially with all the leaks that are out right now, I'm being very careful. And with squad battle rewards, weirdly enough, squad battle rewards kind of hurts the flips on like Saturday into Sunday mornings. But this guy is really, really rare. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on Vlahovic right now. Might try to flip one of these if I can snag myself. I don't know, maybe 530. 530 seems really, really low for him. How many cards do we have to like 570? You got a couple pages. So there might people might not be done undercutting this card just yet. I would like to see this guy go back a little over 600k, which I think seems pretty possible as he does have that four star, four star upgrade. People were excited about this card. I actually used him last night for a couple games and he wasn't that great, but new transfer. He does look pretty good. He feels kind of like a Lewandowski type player. He does have the 4-4, four four, which is dope. And he's, he, people are hyped to try him out. So I think that hype will make his price rise a little bit since he's dropped off a lot in the past few hours. Um, like again, I talked about Bellingham. 
Um, you know, he was down super duper low earlier yesterday. I would probably expect with all of the lead content that we have kind of circulating right now, I would be very careful trading with these cards because again, like I said, there's more hype for the actual SBC and objective content than there is for the actual players in game for these future stars cards, apart from just a couple of them. There's not as much hype for these guys. So that's what I'm, I'm just being a little bit careful with this stuff right now at the moment. I have lost some coins, like I said, on those Chalmenis that I was unable to flip because uh, of his price going down. But we've also made some coins right on the Jude, on the Marquinhos that I bought as well. Um, so it's just been, it's been a, a day of fun flips, to be honest, right? There's the Vlahovic, made a lot of coins on him, made a lot of coins on Bellingham, made a lot of coins on Marquinhos, made a few coins here on the Holland, not too much. And then the insane sale on Chalmeni, then a couple two uh, losses right there. Konate was, you know, ballpark loss as well. So again, this Chalmeni at, at one point, I'm, I'm going to maybe list this up for like one, two, five, and then hopefully he rises a little bit into today. But, uh, you know, team of the year is like this Donnarumma. I bought this at 200,000 coins. He's still he's still really low, and I'm listing for lazies. But that's the thing about this market right now that I'm not a huge fan of, and I'll, I'm risking it right now trying to trade with these items. Um, but one thing I'm not a huge fan of is that people are just scared, and people are just awaiting all this leaked content, and that kind of, you know, scares people a little bit and makes people not want to buy it makes them hesitant, you know? So that's one thing about the market I'd be a bit careful with at the moment with everything that is going on. Um, but again, you, you just have to imagine like EA Sports dropping an R9 SBC at this stage of the game is crazy. Now, luckily enough, as you guys know, I have this guy already in the club, um, you know, with some crazy pack luck this year. But um, get, making this card available to basically everybody I know that a lot of people won't be able to afford it because it's going to be so expensive, but the fact that they're looking into giving this guy an SBC is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. You're going to have to watch Brazilian links across the board. Some of your top tier Brazilians like Vinny Jr. Headliner, especially when this SBC drops, you're probably going to see some panic selling as people will go out and try to start it and try to start sections of it. But you got to really keep an eye on whenever this SBC does drop, keep an eye on your top tier elite Brazilian links. I know I know icons link to everything, but green links to that R9 are going to be crazy. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on, on cards like Vinny Jr. and stuff like that when we get towards the time of that SBC. But again, we had to talk about that SBC today because that is just, it's just crazy. It's honestly just crazy. And again, with the icon moments that are coming soon, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm not saying that you should get ready to do this SBC. I'm just saying that right now on the market, everybody else is getting ready and prepared to do this SBC. And that's why you see prices dropping. Now, Prime R9, I mean, he dropped, he was 8.8. .8, now he's back up a little bit. So, you know, there's going to be some more panic selling to come with more leaks. So make sure you keep an eye on Twitter and we'll talk about it all here. But that's a very big developing story is the R9 SBC. Also, one thing I would expect today is the last day of lightning rounds for these Future Stars cards. Um, but I'm not going to really be looking to... Um, invest in these i don't think um at least right now just because with all the big time content again that is leaked all the sbcs that are out there flashback gareth bale we talked about yesterday that's a big sbc too um you know I i'm not really wanting to keep it that i'm not going to be too too risky right now with these future star items at least at the moment maybe later on this week we'll think about it we'll talk about it and we'll kind of see how things look but for the future stars i think that they could go lower especially tonight sunday night as that usually does happen. So that's the long video for today, boys. Crazy SBC, crazy market movements, panic selling, fodder's going up. Um, and, you know, a lot of that is going on right now on this game. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.